Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. My soul says yes, yeah, Lord. My soul says yes, yeah, Lord. My soul says yes. My soul says yes, yeah.
just clap your hand if you know the Lord is all right, everybody. All over the church. He's all right. Just shout, yes! Just say the words, yes! For oh Lord, yes! 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 Yes, Lord! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. While you're standing before the Lord, we're getting ready to go before the Lord in prayer. Beautiful praise, beautiful praise service. I love you. Deliver thee from the snare of the fowler 
and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand Jesus. shall fall at thy feet. Yes. Mm, and 10,000 at thy right hand. Yes, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hand, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. Because he, because he, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he, because he, because he has known my name. Woo! He has called upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Thank the Lord. Clap your hand while you're standing. Come on here, sanctified and people. Oh, that scripture is so powerful. Clap your hand and praise the Lord. 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 Oh, we're going to have a little bit of church here today. I feel it. I feel it. Point to one of the saints and say, we're going to have some church here today. A little bit of church. Tell them I'm so happy to see you. Glad that you're here. Glad that you come to the house of the Lord. Glad to see you. Glad that you want to have church. Glad that you want to praise the Lord. God has evidently done something to you with you this week that you gotta pray. You gotta pray. Gotta pray. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Help me sing this old song of the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I know the storm is passing over, hallelujah, 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 I know the storm is passing over, hallelujah. Storm passing over, hallelujah. Sometime up, sometime down, sometime I'm leveled up to the ground. But the storm is passing over, hallelujah.
Can you say thank you, Jesus? Can you say thank you, Jesus? We praise the Lord for being in his holy house another Sunday. We thank God that he has protected us all week long. And as I said, in the midst of the COVID-19, we're still able to have church. And we praise the Lord. Uh, snow came, but you're still here in the name of the Lord Jesus. You don't know how important it is to at least try to get to the temple of a living God. If you can't get there, at least try it in your heart. You're pushing yourself to try to get to God's temple. And when you get here, he blesses you, the person sitting next to you, the person that you left at home, people who you're not even knowing watching you. Because this is what the Lord wants us to do all the days of our life, to worship and serve him. Somebody said, I can worship the Lord at home. Certainly you can, but he said to forsake not to assemble yourselves together, which is the custom of some. The more you come together, the more strength that you're able to get, and the more able that you to go and move forth in the name of the Lord. Listen, today is Elder Neal's 95th birthday. We honor him in Sunday school for a moment, but we want to honor him this morning. I wish all of the saints was here because what a blessed it is Amen. to be 95 Amen. years old and to be as young as he is. And so I'm gonna have him stand, he's gonna turn around to y'all and I want y'all all to stand and give God a thunderous applause for this man of God and his 99, 95 years that the Lord has blessed him. Whoa, come on saints, let him know that we're so happy for his birthday. We're happy, that's right. Yes, he has money on his lapel. If you want to put something on there, you can. Amen. Amen. We're so happy that the Lord has blessed him. And, and just, uh, he just a blessing to this church. He really is a blessing to this church. His spirit uh, is indebitable. And we thank God and praise God for that.
Put your hands in there and just rush in there with the song. Hallelujah. Just rush the Lord. Wave your hand across the sky. Wave your hand in the air. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Hallelujah. He's here. He's here. Whatever it is to be. Give him glory. 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 He's here. We need you, God. We need you to speak up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We need to hear your voice. Thank you, Jesus. We need you to speak to us, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody, somebody wave so your hand across the sky and hey, give God some so glory. Let the Lord know. I know that you're here. I know that you're here. I know that you're in our presence. I know you're in our midst. I know you're in our midst. Say hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Hey, anybody feel the presence of the Lord? Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Even when you improvise, you feel the presence of the Lord. That's how the Lord works. If you have to improvise, you feel Hoshabaha. Glory, you feel the presence of the Lord. Jesus, can't nothing stop a praise of God. Nothing. Hallelujah. No, no pandemic. It can't stop a praise of God. Jesus, we praise God in the sanctuary. Oh, 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 oh. You'll find everything that you need. Anything you need is in the sanctuary. Get your benevolence offering together. They're going to come down the aisles. Amen. And you want to give them your benevolence offering. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Hey, glory. Get your benevolence offering in your hand. If you need a tithing envelope, they'll help you even with that right now. Thank the Lord. Jesus. Hasha. Hasha. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Mm. Jesus, what a mighty God we serve. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus, what a mighty God we serve. Mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, the Lord just want a little worship. That's all. He wants somebody to open their mouth and just praise him and not be ashamed and not afraid to let the praise come forth. That's what he wants from us. He just wants us to praise him and worship him and give his name glory because he's worthy in the sanctuary. David said, if I can just get to the sanctuary, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. My strength is there. My deliverance is there. My power. I don't even see how people can stay home. Jesus. And I know they got to it during this time, but I'm talking about, I don't know how your mind can be if I can just get somewhere around some saints who are just praising and worshiping God. If I can just hear a song of Zion. Hey, Lord, if I can just hear a testimony. If I can just hear praise or worship coming from somebody. Jesus. In the sanctuary, in the sanctuary, hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Wonderful Savior, wonderful Savior, wonderful Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord, hallelujah. Mm, thank the Lord, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord forever. Our Lord and our God, we wouldn't be able to survive without him. We wouldn't be able to sustain ourselves without it. Even the one in here who feel that they have been successful, your success have come from the Lord. You could have been somewhere else, somebody else, doing something totally different. But God in his infinite wisdom have anointed you and has blessed you in a mighty way. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord forever. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Mm, bless your name. Jesus, somebody just worship the Lord right now. They're praying for the offering. That's what they customarily do. But the, I, I feel the Lord got a hand on this part of the service for whatever the reason. I'm trying to figure out what direction he's trying to get us to go in. Because anybody got the Holy Ghost can feel the moving of the Spirit of the Lord. <laughs> I know you, if you got it, there's something going on inside of you right now. So why don't you just put those hands together and open the mouth and let the words of praise come on out. Let it come out. Let it come out. Let it go. Let that praise go. Let it go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Oh, yeah, my God, my Savior, my Savior, my Lord, Jesus. Just let that praise go. Hallelujah. Why hold on to it when you can't do nothing with it? It only works when you open your mouth and let it go anyhow. Hallelujah, Jesus. It only works when you open your mouth and let it go. You can't keep it bound up inside of you. Jesus. It was designed to speak it out. It was designed to let that praise go. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I was sitting here thinking uh, a song came over my heart simply goes sometimes you have to encourage yourself sometimes you have to speak victory during the test and no matter how Speak the word and you will be healed. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Sometimes you have to.
to speak a word over yourself. Sometimes you have to speak victory during the test. And no matter how you feel, speak the word and you will be healed. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. See, sometimes we go through so much. We have to speak victory through our circumstances, our situations, whatever you're going through. Sometimes you need a healing. Sometime in the middle of the night, you don't know who to call on. But you can always encourage yourself and say, self, I am victorious. Self, I am somebody. Self, I am not what they say I am. Self, you speak victory over yourself. Sometimes we go through these things where we, we always say, oh, I ain't nothing. Oh, well, sometimes that might be true, but you have to give yourself some encouragement. You have to tell yourself, I can do it. I can make it, even though through circumstances and situations that you don't feel like going through, you know, you know, sometimes you just, and later than midnight hour, you just, you know, you have these dreams and you think and you say, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how I'm going to make it through. Lord, I just, if I can just make it to Sunday so I can get some refreshments. If I can make it to Tuesday so I can get some word. If I can make it to Wednesday so I can get some word. Sometimes all you got to do is say, Jesus, I need you. I need you right now. I need you tomorrow. I need you the day after tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Speak victory over yourself. You are victorious. You are a conqueror. You can make it. You can do it. Don't let nobody tell you you cannot because you can. Tell yourself, I can make it. God bless you.
If he's done great things, if he's done great things, somebody say great things. Say great things. Say great things. Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory to the name of the Lord. He has done great things. Well, I'm so glad. Great things. I say yes to the Lord. Hallelujah. Has he done great things for you? Let your mouth talk. Say great things. Let your mouth talk. Say great things. Let your mouth talk. Yeah, Lord. Great things. Great things. Great things. Great things. Hallelujah. Unto the Lord. So many great things you can't even tell it all. You can't even categorize it. You can't even put it on a list. You don't know what is the greatest thing that the Lord has done for you. All I know is when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. Somebody let your soul say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Jesus, let us go to the Gospel of St. John, the second chapter. It's the story of the uh, Canaan wedding. It says in the first verse, second chapter, St. John, the Gospel. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone after the manner of the purity of the Jews, containing two or three frankens apiece. Jesus said unto them, fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, draw not water now, and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom. And said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. But when men have well drunk, then that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cain of Galilee and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. Let the church say, Amen. There's so much in this chapter of St. John, I didn't really know where uh, to pull a subject, but I think I'm going to take a look at the seventh verse and use for a subject this morning, fill it up to the brim. Somebody say amen. Say it, say it out of your mouth, say fill it up to the brim. What a powerful story we have here in this lesson in the book of uh, uh, St. John. It's a powerful lesson within itself. When the Lord talks to, any time the Lord talks to his children, it becomes powerful. And this story is about unlocking the miraculous blessing that God has for you. You gotta believe it, you can't just uh, read the story but you got to believe the story he had a blessing for these people it was a miraculous blessing because it's based upon a miracle a miracle is something that does not normally happen but it happens and i come to tell you today that we are still living in the days of miracles can i get an amen <laughs> God's still working miracles among us. We might not see them the way we want to see them, or we might want more than he actually gives, 
but he gives enough. There's a miracle in your life. You just take some thought behind it and you realize that God has done something that nobody else could do for you. And you needed a blessing, but nobody else could give it to you. Nobody else could fix it. And then out of clear blue, the Lord has done something. And if you got any spiritual sense at all, you recognize that that was miraculous. Where did that blessing come from? It came out of nowhere. Where did that goodness come from? It came out of nowhere. And you begin to realize that the Lord is still in the miracle business. He's still doing miraculous things. Here in this lesson, he makes it very clear. I'm going to give you a product. Somebody sent me something this week and it stayed on my mind all week long. And he told me, he said, the Lord can make a product without the process. And I, the thing got all over me all week long, uh, trying to figure out what are you talking about. Most things take process. In Sunday school this morning, we was talking about uh, the process of sanctification uh, a little bit. If I can just expand on that. We talked about getting saved, and then we talked about becoming saved. And that's what the process, that's what sanctification is all about. But God is saying here in the book of uh, St. John with the, the, uh, the turning of the wine uh, from water to wine that I can give you the product without even you going through the process. That's the kind of, that's what a miracle is right there. Point to somebody and tell them that's what a miracle is. God can work it out without you having to go the long haul. God can take that, that is gloom and turn it into light. Oh my Lord, I'm not gonna finish this today. I can feel this. I can see this right here. He can take the, the, the product out of the process and bless you. I thought about uh, that uh, caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. Usually the transformation takes some time through a process known as metamorphosis after the caterpillar has ate himself halfway to death and he's so plump and gets so fat he finds a leaf and attaches himself to it and then what happens is that the leaf uh, consumes the caterpillar, the caterpillar becomes the leaf and they form a cocoon uh, and you don't see anything for a, a number of days. Uh, it tells to me it takes five to 21 days uh, for that caterpillar pillar to turn into uh, a butterfly but, but sure as I'm standing here uh, after it has rained on it a little while and the wind has blown on it uh, and has been swayed after about 21 days that caterpillar turns into a butterfly God uh, is saying I'm gonna do a thing for you like that uh, but I'm going to erase the process uh, and I'm going to give you the status of miracle because you have praised me. Anybody need a blessing like that? I text my friend back and told him it sounds like a, a right now blessing. Where I don't have to wait for a long time to receive it. I need some help right now. I need some joy right now. Anybody need some joy right now? Come on here and clap your hand like you need you some. Like you need some joy right now. I, I, the Lord said, uh, even though the caterpillar takes the, the metamorphosis concept or process, uh, I'm going to bless you right now. That's what this year is going to be about. Uh, preparing you for the harvest. Uh, this year, God is going to get you ready, uh, which you have been getting ready. The wine uh, that was another process. Uh, the Bible said that it was on the, the third day uh, that the Lord himself uh, stepped into the party. Uh, Lord, uh, you read this story when you get a chance because there was so much in there. Uh, it was a party, a wedding going on. Uh, and they had ran out of wine, which was the chief beverage. Listen, you don't want to run out of food at a party. The people will talk about you. They'll say your party was nothing. And so the men had ran out of food. And they didn't know what to do. 
but then Jesus uh, who was there I just like it when Jesus uh, happened to show up uh, come on here somebody who know what I'm talking about uh, when Jesus uh, happened to show up out of nowhere uh, that means he's up to something uh, uh, I need him to show up right now uh, uh, anybody else need him to show up about now said he stepped up uh, uh, what's going on fellas uh, well we've run out of wine uh, we have no more wine uh, Jesus uh, said what, are, what do you got over here uh, they said we got three big old pots uh, that used to be filled with wine uh, but we have no wine uh, and we can't wait uh, cause it takes ten days uh, to two weeks uh, to make wine uh, out of grapes uh, through the process of fermentation uh, when the grapes uh, and the sugar in the grapes uh, it's got to turn into uh, carbon dioxide uh, we can't wait for 21 days uh, Jesus uh, said what do you got over here uh, all that the Lord want to know uh, what do you have uh, they said we got three big old kettles uh, I heard the Lord said uh, fill them up with uh, water uh, fill them to the brim uh, point somebody and tell them to fill it to the brim God wants you uh, to fill up your pot uh, with a praise uh, fill up oh glory Fill up your pot uh, with a joy. Uh, fill up your pot uh, with a shout. Uh, fill up your pot uh, with a wave offering. Uh, fill it to the brim. Uh, Cause God uh, is about to take uh, and give you a product uh, without a process. Uh, you're not going to have to wait uh, for 21 days uh, for the grapes to turn to wine. God uh, is going to bless you right now. God. God. Woo, God. Uh, say yes, somebody. Help your hand and give the Lord praise. Woo. Give him praise. I'm almost through, but I want somebody that wants something. Stand up on your feet right now. Throw your hands in the air. Come on and fill it to the brim. Give it all you got. And when you give it all you got, God will give the rest. Give everything you got. And God will give the rest. God said, oh, come on and put them in there. I'm almost through. Take the wine to the master. The master said, this wine is better than the first. Usually, the best is first. But this is the end. And the last shall be better than the first. 21 shall be better than when you started. 21 shall be better. God said, fill it up to the brim. And I, I, I turn it into wine. You just fill it up with water. And I, Turn it into wine. Oh Lord, point somebody to tell me he's gonna turn it into wine. Jesus, he gonna turn it into wine. Fill it up to the rim and let him turn it up. Oh glory, hallelujah. Let him turn it into wine. A miracle. A miracle. Jesus. A miracle. 
He said, fill it up to the rim. Take that pot. Jesus, that you, we're almost through, just give me a few more minutes. You had the pot sitting over in the corner, not minutes, nothing. He said, take that pot, fill it up. Fill it up with water. Jesus. Fill it up with water. Oh, glory. Oh, Jesus. Somebody, y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Jesus. Water means fill it up with a praise. He said, get that empty pot, that empty one. Uh, the one you threw up, I know you had a dry spell. Oh, glory. Yeah, I know you had a lonely spell. Uh, but God said, you don't have to worry. Uh, he said, fill it up with water. Jesus, take it. Fill it up. Mm. The wine that he made out of the pot of water was better than the wine that he made out of the grapes. Jesus. But this was different because he made the product without the process. It didn't have to go through fermentation. It didn't have to go through the 21 days of turning from grapes to sugar to carbon dioxide. God said, fill it up to the brim. Fill it up. God, y'all sit down. We through. Ooh, Jesus. We through. We through. 21 is the year God is going to fill your pot up to the brim with wine that he has made and created. Anybody believe that besides me? Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for believing that. I know it don't seem like it, but it didn't seem like they was gonna have no more wine either. <laughs> I know it seems like this is finished, but no, it's not finished either. Jesus, Lord, even in this global pandemic we're in, this was just a minor little setback. That's all it is. Lord, just stay faithful through the midst of this whole thing, and I'm gonna fill your pot up with wine. And you're gonna say, like that man said, this stuff you're bringing us now, when you had it hidden at all the time, this is better than the original stuff you gave us. Because the blessing the Lord is getting ready to bless you with is better than when you first believed. Hallelujah. Fill this thing up to the end. My God, I feel this thing this morning. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Throw your hands in the air. I'm going to pray for you here today. Lord, these are your children. These are your children. One by one, your sons and your daughters. You know the needs. You know the drive. You know the desires. You know what they're struggling with. You know what they've been through. You know what they're trying to come out of. Lord, you know the darkness that they have experienced. You know the tears that they have shed. God, right now, fill them up. Lord, till they overflow. God, with anointing and with power from on high. And we will praise you. And we will thank you. And we will give your name glory forever and ever and ever. The church said in Jesus' name, we all say the amen. Clap your hands one more time. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We praise the Lord and we thank him for the mighty powerful service that we have experienced here today. We thank him that as we get ready to go through 21 this year, that it will be our best ever individually, corporately, that it will be best yet leave here believing the day that everything God has said in that word, it shall come true for you.